Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Frana and today is a great day because today we have our first guest, Dr. Vipu Daman Singh, known by most of you just by the name Rippy. Now back in 2018, both Rippy and me, not knowing each other, uh, no, not knowing of the activities of each other, we both proposed to ASNT to organize an NDE 4.0 session at the ASNT annual conference in Houston. What did ASNT do? They brought the two of us together. And what was planned as a single session ended up as a full day track of sessions and a panel discussion. It was also the start of the ASNT NDE 4.0 committee. And I must say, I'm so happy nowadays that ASNT introduced the two of us because it's such a fruitful and great working environment Rippy and me have. I must say Rippy is one of the most intelligent and most inspiring individuals I met in my lifetime. He's a coach on purposeful innovation strategy, is one of the US delegates for the ISO standards on innovation management. And together, him and myself, we are running NDE 4.0 trainings. Now, if you want to contact Rippy, I will put some of the details about him into my video description and how you can reach him. About three weeks ago, I created a video about the why on NDE 4.0. And for me, the why is actually a really difficult question. And one where everybody can kind of have a different view. So I invited Rippy to record a video on the same, very same topic. And that's what we will be looking at today. And you will see that he brings a very different view into this whole question. Now, pretty soon, Rippy and myself, we will be discussing about those two videos we created, about the different views onto it. And we would love to include your ideas, your question into that video. So please write them down here in the comments. But now it's time for Rippy's presentation. Hello, my name is Rippy Singh. I'm a freelance innovation coach with a practice called Inspiring Next. I help my clients think about what's the next purpose, what's the next project, what's the next profile, what's the next mindset, whatever their next engagement is and how to go about innovatively in a systematic manner. For the last about seven, eight years, I've been practicing this innovation coaching. And about three years ago, I got into the topic of Industry 4.0. And I went back to my original technical passion, aviation safety. And that pulled me into the world of NDE 4.0. And that's where I came across a good friend, Johannes Vrana, who's pursuing a very similar passion in Germany. We work together on this topic. He asked me if I could speak for a few minutes around the why of NDE 4.0. And I'll tell you, my story goes back for 20 years when I was looking at inspection reliability and looking at human factors and looking at areas of improvement where we can make inspections faster, cheaper, better. And I used to wonder, how can I automate data acquisition? How can I take inspector out of the loop? How can I make infrastructure safer for all of us? After all, that's what the inspections in service do. Now, during manufacturing stage, the inspections have another purpose to serve, to assure quality of products that are being manufactured. Whether you are in the manufacturing side or you are in the in-service operation side, you got to think about it in any particular project that you go after. If you're looking at it from the perspective of quality, speed, and cost, it is very difficult to accomplish all three together. At any point, you can get two of them and third one is more or less an outcome. Now, one of the advantages that happens when an industrial system goes through a revolution, whether it was the first revolution or the fourth revolution now, 
you actually have an opportunity to push all three together. So that's one motivation around inspection systems. So in production, it'll be about quality, speed of production, cycle time per part, and per piece cost of making. If you go to in-service, this is going to be more about inspection reliability, downtime of your asset when it's being inspected and it's not available, and then I would call life cycle operating cost. Over a lifespan of the system, how much do you spend in inspection maintenance? The NDE 4.0 allows you to push all these three concurrently because that expands the domain of quality, downtime and cost to a situation where this area is fairly large. That's the concept here in NDE 4.0. Let me also take you towards how it pushes reliability. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick perspective. Okay, think about our traditional reliability curve. There's a flaw on one side, and we talk about POD on the other side, and a typical curve is like that. It reaches one asymptotically and we most of the time rely on what we call as a 90-95 ability to detect. That's a reliability. That is reliability that defines what's the largest you can miss. And then for every system we have what we can call as intrinsic capability. That's the smallest you can detect. The system capability. This gap in between, this variation is a problem. It's a problem because you, you had a system which is capable of this much, but it's really performing at that level. So your inspection inefficiency comes up in the scheduling, it comes up in the uncertainty around the decisions that you take. And that is something, and the significant contributor over here is human, is the human inspector, it's the human factors. My desire with NDE 4.0 is to push this, I should say not desire, it's the hypothesis, is to actually bring this 1995 closer to the capability. So the whole intent is that the NDE 4.0 should take the POD curve, something like that. That benefit is what I'm looking for. This to go from a reliability from that flaw size to a much smaller flaw size, so I can increase the inspection interval, I can reduce the number of inspections, I can have a better downtime, I can have a better life cycle operating cost because I just push the reliability up. This is what drives me to bring Industry 4.0 into the inspection system. I would also submit that as we get better with digital twins, with artificial intelligence, with smarter algorithms that can figure out what's going on, we might be able to push further on what we believe is the intrinsic capability or something like that. This second stretch may be a little hard, but I don't want to discount that possibility. It can happen. So this is what drives safety. Okay. So all of this NDE 4.0 essentially is to push what I would call safety 5.0, which is safety plus economic value. Okay, that's what I'm looking for from NDE 4.0. That's why we want to do it. When I talk about safety, I actually want to also mention there are two pieces to safety. One is the safety of the asset, the infrastructure that you're using, whether it's an airplane or a railroad or a bridge or a plant. The second is the safety of the inspector who is actually conducting the inspection. You see, not all inspections happen in a factory or a shop floor or a depot. There are certain inspections that are happening in very hazardous areas, in very risky areas. 
you are you could be up on the bridge you could be inside a chimney you could be in a confined space if i can have aerial robots if i can have crawling robots that can go into places where human hand struggles to get we can actually avoid human inspector from getting into harm's way so there's a second aspect of safety around the inspector safety while you're conducting the inspections and you know all that adds up to the cost all that adds up to the downtime all that adds up to the reliability the human factors in total the NDE 4.0 is here to push us towards being even more safer both for the inspectors and the asset infrastructure that we help support so with that i would like to say thank you for listening to me if you have any questions please reach out to johannes or me we are both very active on linkedin you can easily spot us riti singh signing out thank you very much bye Rippy. Thanks a lot for recording this video and for sharing your view on the question of the why of NDE 4.0. Thanks to all of you for watching this video. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you have any ideas on the why of NDE 4.0, please leave them down here in the descriptions or down here in the comments. Next time, we will be discussing the digital twin. As usual, you will find more information down here in the video description. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you and bye.